All right, so let's begin. Um, just a very quick one, just a quick um, reminder, or would I say uh, synopsis of what we have done so far. Uh, I established that report writing is um, uh, is an it's a formal writing, so and that means you are expected to be very formal in your reports. And uh, some of the things you shouldn't bring in when you're writing your report are you should avoid shorthands, abbreviations, acronyms, except when you have written the full meaning in a previous sentence. Then that's when you can bring in the acronym in the next or subsequent sentence or idea. Then I also said that you should try as much as possible to make sure when you're writing a report, Every word you have to spell or write has to be in full and correctly written as well. And you should also try to bring in advanced vocabularies. And the words you are bringing in should be in, in line with the issue you are discussing. That is, you have to consider bringing in the appropriate terminology to describe each information you are giving. And for that, you are strongly advised to come up with what we call academic words, right? And we gave a number of some words that can be considered to be academic words. I said, when you're writing an, um, a report writing, when you are doing a report writing, some of the academic words that will help you to boost your result, your, um, your marks or your performance would be the use of rise, rose, increase, um, appreciate, um, skyrocket, um, we also have significant, remarkable, we have trajectory, um, we have um, the likes of highest, we have the likes of peak, surge, climax, apex, zenith, highest, and we also have on the negative, we have fall, decline, loss, depreciate, we have... Um, drastical or drastic um, we have the likes of dramatic fluctuation instability and all the all all others you have to bring these words in when you are writing a report because it helps to boost your expression and also describes the event on the chart and gives you a higher uh, performance